Hello guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create an alarm clock with AutoVoice and also using chain commands in AutoVoice. You saw that before in my previous tutorials how to use uh, chain commands but I'm gonna explain that again in this tutorial as well. So let's do it. First of all, let's see what we are creating. Set alarm at 8 o'clock and 20 minutes. The alarm would be set on 8 hour and 20 minutes. Are you sure? No. Okay, I will cancel the alarm. So this is one example. I have to confirm the alarm. And I said no and it will cancel my alarm. So let's try the other thing. Set alarm at 12 o'clock and 12 minutes. The alarm would be set on 12 hour and 12 minutes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, alarm is now set. So my alarm is now set. When I go to my alarms right now, you will see the last one is 12 hours and 12 minutes so it works so how to create this one I'm gonna show you how I did it going back to my tasker and I have only three profiles one is set the alarm the second is set alarm no and the last one is set alarm yes so I'm using one action to trigger one thing and two other actions when I say yes or no so it's depending on the first question and then it will trigger one or the other one so let's open that set alarm set alarm is triggered by auto voice recognized when we open that we see here a lot of code and uh, set alarm at alarm hour o'clock and alarm minutes and minutes and using rejects let's open that edit and we see indeed even behavior is checked is on and will we see here command command filter would be set alarm at then the variable alarm hour o'clock and the variable alarm minutes and then minutes go back okay that was our trigger now our task would be set alarm so set alarm will say the alarm would be set at or on alarm hour hour and alarm minute minutes and then we use a question are you sure then the second one I'm setting alarm hour to alarm hour but with uppercase because I want to use that variable inside another task as well so we have to move this one to that and same with the minutes alarm minutes we have to move that in alarm minutes with an uppercase you will see later on where I use this and then we use auto voice recognize when we click on that we use just voice command without headset voice command using less headset configuration so when we click on that we use here uh, use if last I have also the latest auto voice so maybe it's a little bit different in on your phone let's go back okay so we have our main actions for triggering the alarm now we have to put something else to check what we are saying so before we go to the rest let's go back and let's go back to the auto, auto voice recognized event let's click on that 
and edited and we also see at the bottom command ID. Command ID is the command ID I will give to that trigger. So I'm using set alarm because that command ID I'm gonna use that later on. So that's the command ID. Okay, I hope you understand this. Let's go back. And now let's open the yes or the no profile. For example, I'm using the no profile. And the no profile is also an auto voice recognize event and I'm using a task. So when I click on that one, you will see some, th uh, some things, even behavior, last command, no, and set alarm. So let's open that. So even behavior is on. The command would be uh, command filter here. Command filter would be just no. Let's go back. And at the bottom, you will see last command ID here is set alarm. You saw that in the previous step, I've set in the main trigger uh, the command ID to set alarm, but now I'm using this one. So, what does it mean? When the last command was set alarm, I'm gonna use this, okay? And let's go back. So I hope you understand that here I've set the auto voice recognize to set alarm command ID. If the last command here, the same, if here the last command is set alarm, you can use this one. And what does it do? When I use this and we say no, we gonna trigger those actions and those actions would be let's open that okay it will say something and it will say okay I will cancel the alarm that's all and also it would clear the uh, variable alarm hour and alarm minutes so remember I set those before in the main action so let's go back and let's open the yes. You see also the same. It's the same like the no profile. So let's open that and let's edit that. And you will see here even behavior is on, like always. And then command filter would be yes. And when we go back, you will see here also um, Last command ID is set alarm. Okay, that's all. And what does it do? It will trigger actions and the task would be called set alarm English. Yes. Click on that and it will say, okay, the alarm is now set. That's all. And then we have set alarm. When we open that, normally when you use set alarm, you can change that in numbers. But when you click on the double arrows, you can use a variable. So I'm using the variable alarm hour in uppercase and alarm minutes. I've set those already in the main task. So go back and it will set my alarm. So after my alarm is set, it will clear my alarm hour and alarm minutes. So that's all you have to do for making an alarm crop by speaking, by using auto voice. I hope you like this one. It's also very easy to do this one. And if you have any comments, you can leave those uh, on my Google page and thank you very much. See ya.